Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I'm the founder of Code of the Future. And today we are going to be continuing with the Rust course. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, so in the previous video, I showed you this documentation um, and it says essentially the Rust programming language book, but in the kind of text, you know, online. Um, and I showed you the introduction and said, if you fancied learning a little bit more about Rust, then there's all of this in the introduction. So, you know, as I said, if you are interested, check this out. But what we're going to be doing today is the installation, which you can just click here, the installation, or as I have done, I've got it already in a, in a separate tab. So this whole section here will talk you through how you install on different setups, so Linux and Mac or Windows, but I'm going to be showing you it you know, through through video, how you actually do it. So first things first, I will mention how you do it on Windows. I'm not on a Windows, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, just for those of you that, that are on Windows, but as I say, it explains it all down here as well. So the first thing you want to do if you are on Windows is you want to go to this link here. I will link it in the description box below. And unfortunately for me, you know, it recognizes that I am running Mac or Linux. So something will pop up here and let me just check confer with my notes because I don't have it currently up on my screen because I'm on Mac. Essentially, you want to download the graphical installer for Rust. So when you go to this link here, it should you know, pop up with, I think, a little button here and a little button here. And one of them is the 32 bit and one of them is 64 bit. So most people will be on 64 bit systems. I assume if in doubt and you don't know, just download the 64 bit. So once you have downloaded it, you'll click on the download in your downloads file or wherever, wherever it is downloaded to. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit one and then hit enter and you're pretty much good to go. The other thing that to mention, now I understand that I'm making a little bit of no sense because I'm currently not on a Windows, but it does explain it all here. I will be showing you the, you know, the Mac setup, which is very similar in terms of the terminal and pressing one and hitting enter. So if you aren't on a Mac, maybe just you know watch the rest of this video just so you're familiar it does say here you know how to do with windows but once you've done hit press one hit enter you're good to go the only other thing that you need to do is go to this link here which i will link in the description of the video and you want to download some build tools build tools sorry i can't get my words out today and essentially this is what it says in the installation guide on windows it says you need to install build tools and when asked which workloads to install make sure this is selected. So basically to, to install on Windows, very easy, it's literally just this chunk of text here uh, and this is just updating and uninstalling and some extra things that you, you won't really need to know for now. Um, so that is the, the setup on Windows. Now I'll be showing you the setup on Mac, which is exactly what I'm on. So we no longer need these links. And for Mac, I have actually already installed Rust, but I'll be showing you it anyway. So I've just realized I've crossed off that link. Let me get it back. Do, do, wrong one. Okay, so what you're going to do if you are on a Mac is you are going to copy this text here and then you are going to up your ter uh, up up. You are going to open up your terminal and you're just going to copy the entire thing here, press enter. And I have done this previously, but essentially all you do is you go and press one when prompted. It should come up with some options. You just press one and then hit enter and that should install Rust for you. Um, now, we do need a C compiler, which I have written down here, but by default, I believe there's one already installed in Mac, so you should be absolutely fine. Um, and once you have pressed one, press enter, what you need to do is you need to cross off the terminal, you know, quit it completely, you know, you need to restart it and then open it back up. And if it has been installed successfully, you just type in Rust C and all of this should pop up here. Now, if that doesn't work for you, please consult this installation guide here. There's very little to, you know, installing Rust on your on your computer or on your operating system. So if you are experiencing some issues, then just consult this document. As I said, it will be in the description of this video. Now, one final thing to say is when writing text uh, for, for, you know, Rust files, I am going to be using Sublime Text. That's just what a lot of different uh, videos that I've watched or different kind of tutorials online or guidance use it's completely free so you can install sublime and i will put a link to to sublime text and where you can download it from in the description of this video um, i will be using sublime so i recommend using it as well but you can also use vs code which i have installed down here and i suppose if you are a beginner or you just generally code or anyway you probably are used to visual studio code 
So you can you can to be honest, you can use any anything really as long as it's compatible with with Rust. But for the course of Rust that I'll be doing, I'll be using Sublime Text. So that's just a little side note that you will probably need to download Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code. So that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel as well. There is also a Patreon that I've set up and a donation page if you fancy checking those out. The links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.